Hi everyone. So I am on my way home from work. It's already 5 then. So blackout. And I am actually starting this new um, series. Sa what they call this one? This series in my channel about you know just driving and conversations so i will be driving from time to time and ako ang ano nga mag chika <laughs> so just talk about any certain topic that i would want to talk perhaps about adulting you know about the profession or um events recent events that have been happening sa ato ang country or this world depending on what I feel <laughs> so today I am inspired to talk about um, what do I want to talk about careful sa wait I am inspired to talk about the pandemic and the vaccination and all the rest about COVID-19. So, it's June 2021. Uh, the pandemic started for the Philippines how when the virus was already able to come into the country. It was, I think, around January, if I'm not mistaken, of 2020. And for um, Bislig City, where I'm currently living, my hometown, I think it started mga around March of 2020. So, imagine, we've been doing lockdowns and ECQs and modified whatever, GCQ, etc. for um, an, a, a year plus now. It's been more than a year and we're still here. You know, makasuya kayo sa like countries like the US because they are now a maskless country. So they don't require wearing masks because they've already reached herd immunity and we are still in the same somehow in the same place like a year a year ago or more than a year ago a little more than a year ago so one thing that i would want to talk about also is ang ato ang situation it was a, it, it today is supposed to be the last day for the uh, mecq nga um nga maunder ang Bislig City. Sorry, the kankig sabal sa dalan. But anyway, so it the, today is supposed to be the end of the MECQ sa um, Caraga. But then, the, a, a day ago, the other day, ang, um, what do you call this one? Ang national government announced that Caraga would still be under MECQ until July 15th. So from July 1st to the 15th, under Gihapon May, or MECQ na Gihapon ang amo ang um, category when it comes to the community quarantines. Good thing lang that it's not as strict as the one imposed by the local government. I think that was the other week or two weeks ago or three weeks ago, I'm not sure when, but there was this time that the LGU imposed a stricter community guidelines, no? There was no public transportation, so luoy kaayo in tawon ang mga pedicab drivers, uh, tricycle drivers, or mga ongbak drivers, kay they didn't have pasada, so if they don't do pasada, of course, they don't have income, and it's not easy to lose a one one day's worth of income how much more the seven days that you don't get to do pasada diba so that was really hard um but yeah we're still here so mecq lagi hapon karaga is still under mecq hopefully 
it won't extend no but i have i don't know i i hope i I'm, i will be proven wrong but i feel like this macq will still be extended until the, the last uh, day of july so karon ang ila pang announce is ano pa man July 1 to 15 but hopefully not hopefully I am going to be proven wrong and then also which a good thing also is nagbaba na ang number before mang god bisleg reached a uh, three digit number na like 100 plus 200 sa um, active cases but the last time I checked which was earlier today 66 na lang ang active cases so hopefully continue magbaba a lot of more recoveries and yeah hopefully we get to reach the zero na yun na active case no wala na yung active case in the city and then also I would want to talk about vaccinations I was already vaccinated I'm part of AC I am asthmatic so I was able to get my first shot of vaccine I got Sinovac uh, from the LGU so I went to the cultural center I, I went through the process I um, asked for a medical certificate from a doctor and I was given clearance that it's okay to get vaccinated and then I showed that the same um, certification to the Katong frontliner there and yeah I was able to get vaccine and including my mom so in our family actually so me my mom and floor sorry for that me my mom and floor we got vaccinated with um sinovac from the basilic lgu and then see si papa and my brother who are both in davao they luckily got pfizer why do i say luckily well scientifically daghan og based on research ha better ang result sa ato ang aso Pfizer compared to Sinovac but the thing is wala ko pili because um, it is true that the first vaccine available is the best vaccine and the only vaccine available in Bislig is Sinovac so I don't regret that I got a Sinovac for my vaccine because I am thankful that it will prevent me from contracting others simba ko simba ko mo covid so it's it has lesser chances of me na maka spread sa virus and also it has lesser chances of me being affected by the virus severely so ang ato aman jung um goal is to not die diba even if we get covid simba ko simba ko hope but hopefully not if we do get covid at least we have a fighting chance of becoming a survivor and not dying from the disease diba so i was able to talk to two uh personnel from cho no mga healthcare workers they were we were going to a uh, school in the outskirts and then nakisakay sila and we were talking about you know the vaccination how fast other cities are vaccinating so before pa ko na vaccinan a2 pa lang ang ginavaccinan sa bislig Ang big cities like Cebu, where my some of my friends are, A4 na sila girls, so they were already able to uh, get vaccines. The lawyers, my lawyer friends there. But here sa ato a ah, super slow in tawon ang ato ang vaccination because there are a lot of people who do not want to get vaccinated. Um, uh, when I got vaccinated, I think that was three weeks ago or two weeks ago. Uh, abijud na ko nga wala na slot or something because so bright ang <laughs> ang sun anyway but I'm going down now so abijud na ko dili na ko mavaccinan because kulang or something kana murag daghan gani ang magpa-vaccine but I when we went there we still got a uh, slot so gamay ra daw gyud ingon ang people who were there also the healthcare workers no? and they were actually planning to already push through with A4 mag A4 na unta but then kay ni anak man to ang mga healthcare workers na by next week actually uh, mag A4 na but the thing is until now they are still trying to vaccinate the A2 and the A3 so they actually extended 
the thing mo forward na ako gamay because si Lao juga yung ang son anyway so they were they still um, extended the vaccination for the A2 and the A3 so the seniors and the adults with comorbidities kay gamay pa intawon ang nagapa vaccine hopefully no daghan na jud and the CHO gani they they are really trying to convince people but ni ana tong isa ka worker na out of 20 that they talk to like they explain everything and they talk about the benefits of getting vaccinated not only for you but the entire community and the others that you will be mingling with kay kanang tulang out of 20 ang gusto or ang mo yes na magpa-vaccinate sila and all imagine how small that number is no 2 out of 20 so i don't know maybe it's because they read too much also or they watch too much mga whatever in the social media kay daghan po jug kaayo stuff on social media that you get to read you know like grand scheme radaw siya of the government to put chips on us to track us down etc and then there are also some that says well kanang vaccines would actually make you get sick and you will die in two years actually there was this um murag thing na going around the internet which my mom was able to read and my mom is actually a very a scaredy cat about the vaccines she's paranoid that she might you know be endangered by it but well we got vaccinated anyway but manto <laughs> off topic but then so there was this ano going on na in two years time everybody that got vaccinated will die can you imagine that going around the internet so there are a lot of people who i think believe in that those kinds of things that are going around social media and that causes them not to get the vaccine so that's very sad because we are trying to reach the herd immunity you know when we say herd immunity it's not that all of the population will be able to get vaccinated that is a hope that we will all get vaccinated but what we're trying to reach now is the herd immunity where most of the people will get vaccinated so for example in the philippines our um, population total population is 111 million around that number so to reach herd immunity we need to get 70 million citizens vaccinated so mo na para ma reach na nato ang herd immunity ha 70 million out of 111 so dili tanan but a big chunk of the entire um of the entire population but as of yesterday, June 29, 2020, there are only 2.5 million, around 2.5 million people who are vaccinated fully. So, katong naka second dose na sa vaccine, 2.5 million pa lang of the Filipinos. And remember, we need to get to 70 million to get to reach herd immunity so can you imagine how far pa in tawon ang ato ang kanang kailangan maabot but the, those at first that that got the vaccines na ha 10 million pero only 2.5 of the 10 million were able to get vaccinated twice so full vaccination na sila so kami na bilong pa meditos rest of the ano 10 million not the the vaccination kay July 18 around that that week man ang amo ang second dose so imagine super gamay pa jud intawon ang vaccinate and it's so sad actually because if we reach herd immunity then maybe we can already start going back to the normal that we are used to or that we were used to kay we're starting to be very used to the new normal naman diba all the video conferencing although i think it's more tiring and it takes a toll on a lot of people's mental health the not being able to see each other and be with each other and spend time with each other you know no matter how introverted a person is you will miss being with people especially people that you like 
being with. Diba? So, yeah. Agay. Ako ang ano. Hmm. Hapit ako maabot. But yeah, I hope a lot of people will get vaccinated. Please do so we can reach herd immunity na. Somebody's in our house. I think, oh, they're playing. The kid and my child. They are playing. Anyway, my child is my dog, Amicus. So I hope everybody gets vaccinated. Please, please, I encourage you, good, to get vaccinated. Go ask your LGUs kung unsa na be aware of what category they're vaccinating and if you fall into that category please go and get vaccinated in town help us reach herd immunity help protect yourself also so not just yourself diba you get to protect your loved ones you get to protect the people around you the community around you so hopefully, hopefully good in town, ma-reach na nato ng herd immunity. And for people in Bislig, if you are part of A2 and A3, so the vaccination is still ongoing, go na. And if maabot na ang time na A4 na, so ito mga A4, come on, go get vaccinated. Please, 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 let us also read about it and let us be open-minded when reading it. So, dili lang magbasa ta, no? Unya, kanang magbasa ta, but our minds are already closed. Like, nope, vaccines are really not good. So, yes, vaccine is important. Hopefully, everybody gets vaccinated. So, I'm already home. And that is it for today. So, see you again in the next um drive wala pa ko name actually for this series but i will think of a good name so hopefully na ko mahunahunan anyway bye